While aboard the Carnival Jubilee, I had the opportunity to attend the Military Appreciation Gathering. It was a pretty awesome event. Of this incredible event, and it is one of my hands down favorite events to host because it's not about being funny, it's not about doing anything, it's about bringing people together and making some new friendships and creating some really strong bonds. So, right now, I want to make it like a real family. I want you to turn to someone you don't know and just say hello, all right? Break that third wall right now. Say hello, say your name, say hello, everybody. Ooh. Tell them where you serve, tell them which branch. Just nobody throw any elbows. It's too early in the show for that. And today, hosted event and then it got moved to the comedy club where there was a little bit more people like 50 people started to get closer to 100 and now we are able to host it inside the place that should have always been all along as a main event on a C day so we can fit everybody their family and their friends so it's time to get this party started you guys and there's only one way I know to start a military appreciation that's the singing of our national anthem so please rise as able remove those caps and join <laughs> y'all know the words so don't let her sing alone Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early lights what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars have the perilous fight in the Dear Lord, today we honor our heroes to remember their achievements, their courage, and their dedication and say thank you for their sacrifices. Think of the heroes who join us in this group today and those who are here in spirit. Today we stand in the midst of the patriots and families and friends of those who have nobly served. The servicemen we honor today came from all walks of life, but they shared several fundamental qualities. They possess courage, pride, determination, selflessness, dedication to duty, and integrity, all the qualities needed to serve a cause larger than oneself. Many of them didn't ask for their homes to fight on distant battlefields. Many didn't even volunteer. They didn't go to war because they loved to fight, but they were called to be a part of something bigger than themselves. They were ordinary people who responded in extraordinary ways in extreme times. And they rose to a nation's call because they wanted to protect a nation that has given them and us so much. Millions have fought and died on battlefields both here and abroad to defend our freedoms and ways of life. And today our troops continue to make the ultimate sacrifice, but even as we lose troops, more step forward to say, I'm ready to serve. They follow in the footsteps of generations. Our gathering today is just one small spark in the flame of pride that burns across this nation today and every day. We honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice so that we may live in freedom. God bless you and God bless your families. God bless our troops and God bless this great nation. Amen. Amen, Amen y'all. People in their branch that is either currently serving or has previously served. So we're going to start it off loud and proud. Stand up as able and make some noise if you served in our army. I'm sorry, army. I can't hear you. Yeah, army remains standing. Army remains 
always in. You guys, you always come out in numbers. Our fellas, our ladies, you're always in so many. And you are going to start us off today. And the words are on the screen. you got to show everybody how it's done, whether you did it yesterday or it's been a couple years. We're going to dust the shirt off and we're going to get this thing going. So y'all know the words? Let me hear you sing. Here we go. For the right and a we got to turn that up a little bit because I can't hear y'all. Here we go. Proud of all we have few of y'all that ever show up here or there's out, out there in the world and that's because one of the Marines one time told me it doesn't take a lot of us to get the job done right the first time. <laughs> I'm just I didn't say it. They said it. So you guys from the halls of Montezuma here we go. Everybody clap along. We're a family here. My DJ in the back. Can we turn it up a little bit? We gotta get these people pumping. Here we go. From the halls of Sailors, my Navy men and women. Come on, Navy! You just couldn't get enough of the ocean. You had to come back on your vacation. All right, now this one's got a harder beat to catch, so you guys make sure you lead the rest of the game. All the rest of you guys follow us. Get ready. Here we go. In three. served overseas on anything other than a luxury cruise liner. Exactly. But exactly Air Force. Oh, Air, I'm not Air Force. Oh, you she's about to be Air Force. She read. She did hold my earrings. Well, I, what I was saying was I I do consider myself a sailor though because I do work at sea. But I also know that because I, I, I cuss like a sailor when I'm not working. I promise I won't say anything bad today, maybe. But I know that this is also not what the real sailors sing. Right here it says, you guys really sing. The real sailors sing, drink to the foam. Amen, right? Already standing. All right, here we go. Al, Air Force, let's yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Air Force has given Army yeah. a run for their money this cruise. Signing on dotted line. There's not more than one of you, otherwise, no one would be at work. <laughs> your daughter, you're here in honor of your daughter. Well, that's well, that's a big thing. Let's give a big round of applause. 
Listen, I want to say thank you to your family service, to your daughter service, because without the Coast Guard, none of us would actually be on vacation right now, and none of us would be on this cruise ship because they keep us safe. We under we operate under Coast Guard to make sure that we're always keeping y'all safe at sea. So without them and without her daughter, y'all wouldn't be here today. So let's give them a big round of applause. And we should, although your daughter's not here, we should still sing the song, right? Y'all want to sing the song? Yeah. Y'all better put your reading glasses on. Here we go. You said you're gonna sing. Let's go. From And a big round of applause for Coast Guard. So you can't talk about it, but blink twice if he's an astronaut. <laughs> she said he won't tell us. Okay, well, well, we'll believe it. Did you know that he has a song now? They got a song. Yeah, you didn't know? It's not, it's not Fly Me to the Moon by Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Despite my best efforts, I put that request in every single week. You know what else I tried? Benny and the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> Fell on deaf ears. Last one, I was like, what about ground control to Major Tom? No. Instead, they're giving you this wonderful song that sounds like Star Trek and Star Wars had a baby, and then put it on Broadway. So are y'all ready for the Space Force song? It's very dramatic. Here we go, here we go. Y'all just, you can't really clap because it's dramatic. Watch this. We're the mighty watchful eye. I really do. So thank you very much. What's your, what's your, oh, is that the Space Force shirt? I, listen, I, the only thing I know about Space Force is that they tried to make a Netflix show out of it and it did not do good. Y'all are doing much better. We're going to leave the real stuff to the professionals. One more time for Space Force, everybody. They couldn't have done the job and they didn't hate the people in front of them. They loved the people they were protecting back home. You were their support system. We want to recognize you as well. Let's stand up and show some love. You are a part of the military family. The spouses especially. The children, the parents, the aunts, the uncles, the grandparents. You were the ones that always had them when they came home and were there at the airport waiting for them. Thank you to the family. You didn't sign any paperwork other than a benefit, but you are serving nonetheless. <laughs> the only way that we're gonna get that number to go down is if you all open up to each other. I know talking to a civilian like myself or your family, you feel like you're burdening them, but in this room, there is so much connection that you guys have and you've never even met half the people here. This is what we want you guys to do in military appreciation, the chance to really just look around and say, hey, I served there and maybe afterwards you go and you grab a beer at the Heroes Lounge and you have a chance to open up and have those tough conversations and maybe get some help you didn't even know that you needed. So that's what I want you guys to do. I want you to leave the humility at the door. I want you to stand up, be boastful, be proud. Let us know where you served and see who else along with you has worn those same either uniforms or shared those same battle scars. All right, can we do that today? Yeah. All right, I know you're like, man, this is about to get deep. It is. Now, if I miss anything as well, like I try my very best. I talk a lot. I talk really fast because I got a lot to cover. But if I miss anything or you want to be recognized a specific way, do not be afraid to shout it out. My dad was not in the military, but he thought he was a drill sergeant, so I can take it. Thank you sacrifice. Our service member here, thank you for your sacrifice, your acts of valor. Thank you very much. You've got four over here. My goodness, we've got a well-decorated room. Thank you very much to our bronze star recipients. Do we have any silver star recipients with us in the room today? Oh my God, what are you doing here? Wait a minute, I didn't know you were here. Oh, hey. Where is, where's the wife? Yo, 
y'all talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> she, she in the casino, you better stop it right now. This young man here, yes, and I do say young man because I love him so much. He was one of my very first Silver Star students I ever met. And I, we've got three in this room today. There's a gentleman right over here, and I believe right over, the young lady over here, and then that gentleman there. But I want you to tell everybody what you told me that one time. Because you know I like it. It's a good thing. <clears throat> Uh, first got to Vietnam, 1966, got to the company, Charlie Company, 173rd Airborne, and at the tent where I walked in, they had a big sign, and it said, yea, we walk, walk through the valley of death, we will fear no evil, because we're the meanest son of a bitches in the valley. <laughs> Well, that's about the word. You get clear for those knees now. Thank you very much, distinguished flying cross recipients. I've only met one of those as well. I know they're very rare. Big round of applause wherever they are. They're probably in the casino with his wife. Uh, and this, I say this, and I always hesitate because I've had a few imposters over the years that I've had to double check. But do we have any Medal of Honor recipients with us in the room today? It's okay. And a lot of times they're very, they're very, very humble. They don't want to stand up anyways. Can we get a big round of applause for uh, today? And uh, a gentleman on the far side of the room started talking about how in his basic training, his commanding officers was really trying to get him to feel the patriotism. You know, do it for your person. Never let anybody get left behind. And he told a story about how a gentleman went against his commanding officer's orders, flew back into enemy territory to collect the soldiers that had been left on the ground, flew them out, got them all home safely, and that person received a medal of honor. And you know what his name was? Don. Don. It was the same guy, you know what his last name was? Freedom. <laughs> it wasn't freedom, it was Freeman, but I'm trying to let freedom ring, you know? And, uh, and so he was like, uh, by the way, Mr. Freeman, it was Ronald Reagan that gave you your Medal of Honor. <laughs> and Don goes, oh yeah, I laughed because he was Ron and I was Don and it rhymed. <laughs> so you, you never know you, who you have in the room. So another big round of applause for our Medal of Honor recipients. Very, very cool story you have in here. Now maybe, it's, uh, I want to recognize one more, and this is for our, our fallen soldiers. Do we have any Gold Star families with us in the room that are here honoring their, their veterans? Let's give a huge round of applause to our Gold Star family. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your soldier sacrifice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big round of applause for our Gold Star families. And right over here as well, thank you very much, this young lady, for bringing that spirit to life today and recognizing your soldiers. Thank you very much, thank you. And, uh, and now I want to recognize, maybe you guys didn't serve in the same branch or have the same accolades. Maybe you guys served in the same conflict. And like I said, you eat and spit and disgustingness at you. And it is going to be forever a black mark on our country's history. And it is my job and everyone's job in this room to make sure that when they see y'all wearing those hats that say you served in Vietnam or when you stand up in a room and you say that you served this country when we needed you most, it is our job to make you feel the appreciation, the love, and the warm welcome that you should have gotten all those years ago but were robbed of. So right now, I'd like this room to properly give them a warm welcome. Welcome home. Thank you for your service. Y'all gonna be better than now. We gotta shake off years, years. Thank you, soldiers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome home, y'all. At ease. In the back, on the side. Thank you very much for your service, our Bosnian War Vets. Do we have anybody that served in Operation Enduring Freedom? Please rise and recognize, there's my girls. Thank you very much, Enduring Freedom. Thank you very much, thank you, thank you, thank you. Operation Iraqi Freedom, please rise and recognize. Thank you for your service, thank you, thank you, thank you. Serving in country in Afghanistan, please rise and be recognized. Thank you for your service, thank you. On the side, right over here, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Operation Just Cause, please rise and be recognized. Just Operation good. Just Cause, we usually get one. <laughs> they're taking a nap, that's okay. Or they're stuck at the pizza line. Uh, do we have anybody that served in Operation New Dawn? There we go, thank you very much, young lady right over here. I told you, I usually get one. Thank you very much. Anybody serving Operation Inherent Resolve, please rise and be recognized. Thank you very much. Thank you right over here. In the back over here on this side, right over here, right over there. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to jump around a little bit. Did anybody serve in Bosnia? Please? Oh, no, it's the Bosnian War. Uh, anybody served in Kosovo, please rise and be recognized. Thank you very much for the recognizing that service, that soldier. Thank you very much. Thank you right over here. Anybody that served in Grenada, please rise and be recognized. Grenada, thank you very much right over here. The two on this side. 
Before this man yells at me, can we get a little bit of love for our service dogs down here? A big round of applause for our service dogs. I told y'all wasn't gonna forget. <laughs> Uh, I want to show some love for those that served in Somalia. Please rise and be recognized. This table. Well, I'd like all the veterans, please stand up also. Three, six, four! Eddie. Eddie. Thank you. I know a lot of veterans, most of us understand what a, excuse me, what a white table is all about. As I said, the white table stands for POWs, prisoner of war and missing in action. What I'd like to do right now, a lot of people that don't understand what a white table is, I'm gonna read you what every item on that table represents symbolizing the fertility of one prisoner that will be standing alone. It is set for one symbolizing the, the fact that some of our veterans are missing from our ranks. The tablecloth is white, symbolic the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call of duty. The black napkin represents the sorrow of passing. The single red rose in the bay symbolizes the blood that may have shed to ensure the freedom of the United States of America, our country. The red ro the rose also reminds us of family and friends of our missing comrades, which we have in remembrance of every day. <laughs> 